play a little more of Tomb Raider. Actually, I haven't played this version of Tomb Raider before, which is the PC version of Tomb Raider. Hello, and welcome to uh, WBPL 76. I'm Crow, and uh, we're going to play a more of this fine series of Tomb Raider games. Well, I should say more. I've been like trying to get back into it, because I haven't played the first one probably in many, many years. I played Anniversary quite a bit, but the first one, gosh, I mean, it was like back in PS1, so I've never played it on PC before. It was kind of a bear to set up. Uh, but I got it working, and thankfully there was like a ton of people out there who just made this thing run for years. So kudos to Tomb ATI for you know stake, sticking to it for so many years. Yeah, and I, I agree with you, Bionic. Absolutely, it was one of my favorite series of all time. I, I love 1, 2, 3 is a, a Tasa. I, I think 3 has a lot more action. 4 is a good little you know end of the series of the PlayStation titles before they start going into... Angel of Darkness and all those other games before they started doing the remakes like 2013 where she dies horribly every time. But I did find something really interesting I wanted to share with you guys uh, before we started. It's uh, it's actually an advert <laughs> for this game that came out in the 90s, 1996, the same year it came out. I want to share that with you because I found it to be uh, interesting to say the least. So I'm going to I'm going to pull that up for you guys and you, you just let me what know what makes you think. You sweat. Is it passion? Or could it just be heat? What about not knowing if your very next breath will be your last? What about all three? <laughs> Tomb Raider. Kaleidos Interactive. <laughs> I'm sorry, but why? <laughs> That's just a... It's just showing people dying. It was just this horribly dark, grungy thing, and it's like Tomb Raider. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> the 90s was a time. Uh, anyway, let me bring the game up here, and we'll watch the uh, oh, watch the opening cutscene. Yeah, it is like Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Sounded like him a little bit. Los Alamos, New Mexico. That's where they did all the nuke testing. You know, I think this cutscene is, uh... It's the after credit scene for Oppenheimer, if you haven't seen the movie yet. Spoilers. This is actually the after credit scene for Oppenheimer. Sorry, I forgot to point that out. Yeah, that happened. Now we're at the Imperial Hotel in Calcutta. For some reason. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? Stomps out Bigfoot. Exactly, <laughs> but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Yeah, shut up, Larson. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. <laughs> then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical powers buried in the unfound tomb of Qualipec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Oh, yeah. We're going in. <laughs> hey, Rimward. And hey, how's it going? I saw that stretch there, Rayford. I did that while the uh, music was playing. Uh, but yeah, that's Tomb Raider. The opening, anyway. Uh, let's... let's um go ahead and load right in. Oh, never mind. The game decided to play a demo. I need to set my controls. There we go. Yeah, I have to do that every game. It's just the nature of the beast. Yeah, they found an artifact. They found the location of an artifact. I'm sure that's what they meant to say, Delag, but, you know, <laughs> she's like, okay. 
She, Natla might be tipping her hand a little bit there because she knows exactly where it's at. There's a whole reason for that. But uh, yeah, after we beat the first area, uh, the first um, location, I should say, because location's like three or four levels or something like that, we'll understand what her motivations are pretty quickly. Obviously, Natla's not up to no good. But yeah, let's go ahead and load up this game here. Oh, the game would just let me. Oh, never mind. It just decided to crash. Let's load this back up. Here we go. Awesome. All right. Right into the game. That's right. We're in Peru. I, th I think this is the Andes. I, I don't know. Somewhere up in a cold mountaintop somewhere. This well-dressed gentleman and a lady with shorts for summer is <laughs> just walking up a snowy cliff. She's that much of a badass, cold doesn't affect her. I, I wouldn't trust that. That does, I, Look, she's the professional, obviously. She even did her nails. Nice. Gotta look, gotta look fly when you're about to go into a tomb. Door mechanism still works. Someone must have moved the snow out of the way. Oh, doggos. Oh, danger doggos. Yeah. No, don't shoot. Okay, well, I guess she has no choice. This is the coolest lady on earth. Just a side tangent, I love the phallic design of the xenomorph heads because it means at the end of the day, those Marines got killed by a bunch of dickheads. <laughs> it's like, wow, what a random tangent, I like it. All right, we're here. Because when you're here, you're here. And welcome to Peru. Now, this is actually running on uh, a modded system, which allows me to actually play it at a fuller scale, mainly just so it works on my computer. I I, I actually do prefer 4.3 original aspect ratio, but they did a good job. This is not stretched. This is actually just the screen fold out. I'll even show you with the inventory. See the inventory and the text? Everything was upgraded. And we got our little uh, uh, game document passport thingy. Sounds, stuff like that. We also have our guns. Yeah. She's nothing but spine and muscle. Yeah. It's <laughs> kind of. All right. So, obviously, this looks like... If you've ever seen anyone play this game before, this is the first trap you run into. Now, I don't know much about Peru, but I'm fairly certain that... Uh, I, I think they just really like their arrow traps. <laughs> Ah, my controls reset. How dare you? There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm a, I, she's looking up that way, meaning we have to go and climb up there. But there's actually a little secret back here. It's right up here on this ledge. So I'm just going to jump up there and grab that. If I can remember what the controls are. Hey, Digiman, how's it going? Yeah, and there we are. A little health pack. Nice little sound effect for our fine uh, addition of health packs that we'll be picking up throughout the game. But yeah, let's keep on going. They make alcoholic otter pops. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what an otter pop is, but uh, have fun. Now, here in the Tomb of Raider, or Tomb Raider as it's known, everything in a tomb uh, inexplicably want, wants to kill Laura. For some reason, they just want her dead. Every animal on Earth just hunts her down until she is just erased. That's wolves, that's bats, bears, lions, tigers, uh, gorillas, 
uh, xenomorphs, whatever is in the game. They all want her dead. Let's climb up here and get this other little thing. Right up there. Just pop it. Bats don't take much. One of the things with the targeting in this game is that even after it's dead, she will continue to hold target and shoot it. The corpse, that is. So if you don't let go and s allow her to pick another target, there's no targeting system that you have control of. Uh, she'll just keep shooting the corpse over and over again. And bats just need one little tap. All right. Hey, Grubfist, how's it going? We're just in Peru right now, as you can hear by the sounds of the ominous bell and uh, thunder in the distance. It's very cold, but Laura decided that she didn't need pants, because pants are not something you need to bring into a tomb. Especially with all the running she's doing. It's a total natural looking cave. Yeah, I know. You got that law that fog that just goes off into the distance. I like to call that the PlayStation 1 draw distance fog. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, here's the thing. I I, I think uh <laughs> yeah, Laura clothes lightly because she's always sizzling out. Yeah, you have to understand, like, if you're going to get into a 90s game, you got to start using 90s catchphrases like that because that sweat commercial was just... Why? Uh-oh. There we go. Just one little tap or two. She's hardballing today, which is... Uh, she's got two dual 45s, from what I understand. And, uh... Yeah, we can't really go that way. So we're going to have to go back and climb up here. We're going to have to do a little bit of a roundabout. <laughs> Draw distance fog is occasionally a good plot point. Oh, yeah, look, she can do this, too. Excellent. So occasionally she likes to do a little gymnastics before <laughs> climbing in the stuff. And we just got to go through the zigzag hallway, and, and now we're out here to the uh, this area that has rope bridges. Let's take a look around. Down there, you can see you got some doggos. They're just running around, having a good time. And not really a whole much else. They are looking at me like I'm food, so I got to be careful. Yeah, they're down there screaming. I, I don't want to go down there and bother them, so let's avoid them if we can. We're going to try not to shoot as many wild animals as we can. As we can. I understand it's a necessity when it when it happens, but... Like this area, you don't really need to shoot them. They're not doing anything. They're just minding their business. Oh, you think those are jackals, huh? Well, that's, a, that's the sound of a wolf. That's the sound of two wolves uh, inside of you glitching out. Sorry about the transporter accident. Hey, TK, how's it going? We're just in Peru, walking across the rope bridge, enjoying our sights. Their business is attempting to kill you. Yes, it, indeed it is. Let's go around this pillar here. Now, I, I've actually taken the liberty of uh, uh, putting a modification or two in here uh, for the textures, mainly because... It wasn't just that they were blurry. Uh, they were just like, I couldn't tell what I was looking at because <laughs> they were supposed to be for a smaller screen. So, And uh, whoever did this texture pack just did the originals, uh, brought them up, did a really good job. Still looks like a Tomb Raider game. That's all I care about. And right over here, if we uh, walk over to the edge... We could see an incomplete bridge. And I believe that's a bear down. Yeah, there's Diggs. He's down there just running around. Oh, he's standing up. He thinks he's people. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Yeah, so we don't want to fall down there for any reason. So I'm just going to do a little running jump. I'm going to cross over that, that gap like that. I like how the plants are ignoring many areas. Yeah, you know what? You're right. These plants are going straight up on the ceiling and nowhere else. 
it's those Peruvian vines that you have to really look out for. I, I, I'll tell you right now, I have a pretty bad allergy to plants, and I know if I touch any of those vines, I'll break out immediately. So my tomb raiding days are pretty much over the second I walk in here. Griffin borked at the bear. <laughs> Good talk. Uh-oh. No, you don't. Let's just get up here and away from the dog. Okay. Okay, we're safe. I don't think they're going to come up here. Although, I see a health pack. Oh, he's just having a little rest. Look at that. He's sleeping. Nice. Let's turn the music off with the switch. <laughs> Old school music cues. Although, I'm going to have to be very careful. I don't want to go back down there and upset them very much. So we're just going to try to jump across this, this cavern here. There we go. No point raiding tombs. The British Museum beat you all to the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure Lara's an agent for the British Museum. Yeah, she might be. We're going to go over here to this little area right here. You know, I almost came down here for a snack. So if we look back here, we found a little secret. Yeah, it's just this this dais right here. This dais, little... I don't know what, what Peruvian ancient... Uh, you know, ancient uh, South American stuff that's supposed to mean. But, you know, it's here. And there's a Psydoc brand medical pack right here. Those will give you full health. Very valuable. Because I'm probably going to take a lot of damage trying to avoid animals. <laughs> you think that's Aztec? It might be. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. They got me twice there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Doggos, no. I don't think I have a choice here. I might have to fight. Uh-oh. I think I'm out of health. Let's let's see. Let's use our Psyduck Brang medical pack. I can't turn around. <laughs> Alright. Time time to shoot. Gosh, I hate shooting these things. Well, Guess we'll get that med pack now. I tried my best, but trying to climb up a, 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 a any sort of surface while something's pulling you back is uh, not exactly easy. And now we're down to four med packs. I've already <laughs> used two, so prepare to see me uh, die a million times. She's either a werewolf now, or she has rabies. Probably a little bit of both. So we're going to open this door up again. There we go. But yeah, we made it so far. We're inside this uh, ancient tomb that I'm assuming has bodies in it. For a tomb, it's awfully uh, devoid of many things, uh, like furniture and bodies. You know, stuff you'd find in a tomb. I guess there's no ancient Peruvian Ikea back then, you know? See ya. See, I didn't have to hurt that wolf. Not bad. 
just had to fall down here to do it. Let's take a look at what we got out here. We got this long hallway with a bunch of shooty boys. That's where we were earlier. I don't know if you recall that door. But now, there's the door we need to go through. And we're going to try to avoid the shooty boys. So we're just going to go this way. <coughs> oh, ran right into the wall. Yeah, it must be the biocracy corridors from Age of Peru. Yeah, exactly. This is why you should do all your Tomb Raiding in the UK. No rabies over there. Well, in Tomb Raider 3, you totally can. I think there's a London level, but it's mostly uh, you shooting dudes on the roof, from what I recall. That level was difficult. It was also very dark. Oh, hey, look, a health pack. Oh, God. It's a danger health pack. Oh, gosh. No way I could have avoided that one. It was it was leaping right for my face. As quickly, let's pull the switch before this music does something. I don't know why it's playing. Let's see, which way do we need to go? Oh, right here. There we go. And with that, I believe we've ended this level. We killed eight things, we found six pickups, and we got all three secrets. Took us 13 minutes. Not bad. If anybody's keeping score. <laughs> if anybody even cares about score. I'm sure there was like a speedrun community back then that did. But yeah. Uh-oh. Gosh, they make such horrible noises. Okay. All right. Now, here is the ancient Peruvian... Uh, I believe this is the ancient Peruvian water hole. Oh, gosh, there's another wolf. Okay. As I was saying, there's an ancient Peruvian water hole right here. Which uh, I'm sure leads to something nice. This is where they would, uh, I guess, come to get water for their indoor village. Let's go ahead and take a look inside this. Uh, I'm assuming it must be where they stored their horses. Today's episode, Rabies Awareness. Next time, tune in for... Oh, God! Diggs, no! Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Anyway, <laughs> I was just trying to take a look inside the horse pen here. Uh, I'm assuming this is where they must have stored their horses. It's back here. Nothing, just a little hidey hole. I wonder if we can climb up there. Let's see if she'll climb up there on her own. Yeah, she can climb up there just fine. And there's a health pack right here in front of this weird face. Awesome. Well, now I have a health pack, which I'm sure is going to be uh, very useful later. What's, okay, is that just a hole in the ceiling? I'm going to take a better look at this. Yeah, there's just a hole in the ceiling. I wonder where it goes. Yeah, now who's going to run the station? It's it's a Peruvian bear. It's not it's not Diggs. It's one of his cousin. Uh his his cousin uh Jeremy. I I don't know. <laughs> so, what's a whatever is a cool Spanish name, El Diggs. Those poor wolves haven't had a snack in 1,500 years, Mike. They want meat, not bullets. Oh, you're right. I should have brought a whole bunch of jerky with me. Well, let's uh, dive into this pool of water here, which is totally fine. Nothing like a good old swan dive into the shallow pool of uh, ancient Peru in the frozen mountains of the Andes, or wherever they're supposed to be. Now, let's go this way. It's very well lit down here. Much more underwater caves were well lit. I'm sure there's something down here. Oh, there's a lever right there. Let's go to it. 
Yeah. Oh, we found a secret. Oh, well, let you look at this. It's like some sort of uh, ancient Peruvian storehouse, or that's someone might be someone's bed actually. I don't know. Also, I got my WBPL six uh, seventy six backpack on. There you go, so you can get a better view of it. See? WBPL 76. Actually, you can't see it. It's very dark. <laughs> you just realized it's very dark over there. Whatever. Hey, Scarab Nate, thanks for the sub. Welcome, WBPL 76. Appreciate the support, man. All right, we have returned back to where we started. This is like Dig's third cousin or something, just laying over there. I wasn't trying to run and jump, but, well, she did it anyway. Now, I, I'm fairly certain there's more than just this little secret down here. I, I think there might be more to this. So we're just going to go this way this time and see where it leads us. Oh, wow. Look at that tiling. Someone may, took their time to tile all this down here. Pretty impressive. Wow, look at that. They really went all out with this bathhouse. I kind of dig it. Did Goat survive? Yes, Goat did survive. The MRE did not kill him. Uh, it was actually just fine. It was just a lot of sugar. Now, I see that this wall here seems to be different from the others. There might be a way to open this. Let's see if we can find it. Can I pet the snakes? No, nope. she doesn't want to pet the snakes. I'm not entirely certain how I'm supposed to open this. Probably a secret or something to that effect. Let's check down in the pool. Is there anything down there I can pull no levers or buttons to press? Doesn't seem like it. I don't see any buttons or levers up here. Yeah, it's probably down there what we're looking for. Yeah. Let's go back this way. Hey, Wraith, how's it going? Yeah. I didn't murder anybody. They assaulted me, and I had to defend myself. For some reason, wild animals hate Lara Croft. They just hate her. Every game. Wild Bengal tigers in the next game just straight up have no chill for this lady. Oh, that must be the lever I'm looking for. Let's get some air and uh, pull it down. Yeah, let's get some air. Turn it around a little bit. All right. They hate her because know, they know what she did. It's a vicious circle. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can pull this lever. All right, I'm going to start swimming. The second you get to a cutscene, you can still move your character. So I'm just going to go ahead and start moving the second these doors go. Because one thing these developers love to do is put timers on every single door. Just about. They didn't want to give you a... They wanted you to feel the sweat. <laughs> Whatever that commercial is going to be about. Let's go in through this door now. Yeah, it was another secret. What was in it? Looks like ammo for a weapon and some Psyduck brand health packs. Let's all go ahead and grab them. Nice. I have no idea what they intended to use this room for. It looks like they did like an unfinished closet or something. There we go. 
Floor band-aids are the best band-aids, indeed. Alright, let's head back to the center, central area, uh, now that we have explored the underwater well of whatever this area is supposed to be. Vilcabamba, I believe. Let's see, what's over here? There's a lever next to the door. See, back then they had ancient door technology. Ooh, they can move things. <laughs> All right, what do they think? What do you guys think they use this room for? They got some sort of pit in the floor. Uh, someone was making some sort of. Uh, I think that's an ox or something. They were uh, skinning. Yeah, some kind of leather leather making room with a set of stairs going up here. <laughs> oh man, look at that edgy wall. A lot of skulls. And a collapsible floor, so we're gonna have to run on this one. All right, we did it. And we get the Psyduck Brain Mega Health Pack. Was, those are some gigantic skulls. Uh, they're bigger than her. Like, they come up to her thigh. Here, I'll get you a good look at that. Yeah, come up to her knee. These are some ginormous skulls. Well, not a whole lot going on in this room. But we can press this brick through. With her sheer strength. <laughs> See, people pay money to go to CrossFit just to do this. <laughs> when all you have to do is just work for the British Museum. Actually, she just kind of does it for sport. She, she just likes doing this. I mean, she has the Ark of the Covenant. What else does she need? Nice. Uh-oh. I heard a bat. We better be we better be careful in here. Hmm. I don't see it. There we go. I don't really like shooting animals, but unfortunately they just run into her until she dies. And there's they they, they just kinda interrupt your grabbing and ability to climb and a key. We're gonna need that. Kind of weird just playing this on a keyboard. <laughs> I'm used to having like all the effects of like m you know modern games of uh, of having mouse look and a controller and all that stuff. Yeah, not bad so far. We should probably save our game. I haven't done that so far. And a golden idol. Very nice. Let's take a look. We got a silver key and a gold idol. Those will all be useful for something later, I'm sure. Yeah, let's go down and save our game. Empty slot number one. Excellent. Hey, Night Owl, how's it going? Just raiding some tombs. Oh, I messed that up. There we go. Oh, now she's showing off again. Does it all fit in the fanny pack? Yeah, actually. In her WBPL76 brand backpack. It's totally a branded backpack and not one she just stenciled WBPL76 on the back. Uh-oh, I hear another one. Yeah, it puts Balenciaga to shame. <laughs> exactly. Let's take a look down there. I want to make sure there's no more bears and digs running around looking for revenge. 
Nope, we're back in the area we started in earlier. This whole area is just a kind of like a central foyer kind of thing. Let's go this way. A lot of bats in this tomb. A lot of them want to kill her for some reason. I've never really known bats to just start attacking people, but I've never really uh, been... I'm not really that much on uh, how bats react to people. I don't think they just straight up fly at you until you die. Also, just keeping myself ready. I think there might be more monsters around here. Another dog. Unfortunate. Let's take a look at it once we pick up this health pack. The Psyduck brand health pack. Let's take a look at look at this poor dog. I do have to say, though, this dog definitely keeps up with its uh, oral hygiene. Those are some very pearly whites. Actually, I set this to Tomb Raider Gold um, because the only other Tomb Raider that Twitch accepts now is the 2013 one, which they say is, like, intended for mature audiences, has sex and violence, all this stuff in it. It's like, it's not the original. Ah! No, 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 no. Okay. I'm trying to avoid shooting the animals, but they're right here in my face attacking me, so it's very difficult to uh, not defend myself here. Yeah, the spray and pray, pray method is probably the best method at this point. Let's see, maybe there's... Alright, I, I saw a door with a uh, key on it. I think it might be around here somewhere. Yeah, it's back here. Little keyhole right next to it, I should say. Let's put our silver key in there. There we go. Ow! Ow! No! Uh-oh. There's a lot of them in here. Let's use a Psyduck brand health pack. <sighs> ah, much better. The only health pack made by a quack. Well, here's another uh, fine piece of uh, ancient Peruvian uh, architecture here. That is, I'm assuming, part of the opening doors that'll lead us right into the lost city of Vilcabamba. So that's where we're going to go. Well, starting with this little area first. And then we'll work our way around until we open up the other doors. To look at that, another swimming pool. These ancient Peruvians and their swimming pools, they just had them all over the place. Oh, somebody messed up the tiling down there. That or there's a secret door. Nah, it's just... Somebody put a tile there with junk on it and <laughs> messed it up. <laughs> there are stairs. Yeah. It's supplied by uh, the Psyduck brand medical supplies. 
I don't know. <laughs> Just making it up as I go along. But yeah, we're we're uh, we're pretty deep into this tomb already. Uh oh, get ourselves another visitor. Nice blue, uh, blue water tiles and everything down there, and a beautiful uh, burgundy ceiling. They really went all out, these ancient Peruvians. Look at that. It's excellent. We are rating it. Uh-oh. We got ourselves a little bit of orange now. Oh, another Psyduck brand health pack. Yes, it's actually quite a good soundtrack. The composer is... Excellent. He, he's knocked it out of the park with every single game. So subsequently just did a great job. Uh, he actually went and uh, to Abbey Road Studios and re-recorded the whole soundtrack with a live orchestra. So for all the games, that is. So if you uh, like the soundtracks from any of the games, the, you can go buy that soundtrack. <laughs> all right, our first door is open. Take a look around, make sure we're not going to lose anything. Some kind of ammo down there. I remember this game having a lot of just ammo laying everywhere. And you don't get the guns into, uh, for them until later, but you'll have the ammo throughout the game. This is a good point to save our game. Save game. There we are. City of Vilcabamba. There we are. Yeah, I can't climb up there. I'm assuming that's where I'm going to end up next anyway. Let's do a hang drop so we don't end up hurting ourselves falling off here. There we go. Oh, there's another Psyduck brand health pack right there. I'm going to grab that. Hey, how's it going, uh, MT? So we're just going to... There we go. Try not to take too much falling damage. I'll tell you right now, I would still be, if this was me, I'd still be at the base of the mountain trying to wait till the weather clears before coming up here. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, man. I'd be bringing a lot more people with me, but not Tomb Raider. Not Laura Croft. She's such a badass. Let's, uh, let's take a look inside this pool here. Uh, secrets that I can discern, but it's very pretty. Also got a very burgundy ceiling. It looks like a very, very much a copy of the other area. Now with more stuff to climb. All right, we have to be very careful here. As much as we can be. We can climb that platform and then jump to the other one. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Any secret health packs? Any health packs that I could grab? I'm going to need all of them. <laughs> hey, Solar Flare, how's it going? We're just exploring the lost city of Vilcabamba here in the ancient city somewhere in Peru. In the Andes, I'm assuming. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we, her jumping ability is of the NBA. Yes. Yes, it is. She has hops. Uh-oh. Any Psyduck brand health packs back here? Nope. Oh, just checking. All right. 
And as I predicted, second lever's right here. And there we go. Center door is now open. And all the sound has stopped. I mean, there's nothing. Not even that, that banging noise is gone. We're just gonna... Yeah, we're gonna take our time falling off this. Yeah, there were quite a few. Yeah, I, I I realize that, but this is the this is the city. Uh oh. Oh shit, that actually scared me. <laughs> I was I forgot that this was here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the French were here. You could tell because they installed a uh, swinging guillotine. We're just making sure there's no, like, secrets or anything. <laughs> That's just a double-sided swinging axe. Yeah, nothing special, right? All right, let's pull this lever. And fall to our doom! I like the faces. Very Legends of the Hidden Temple. What's over here? Nothing. Just, just more. Could go this way. Let's go this way. No levers, no secrets, but there's an area up here. We're just going to be very careful because I have no idea. It's been many years since I've played this game. Oh, there's a lever right there and not much else. Well, let's pull it and see what happens. Oh, a door opened. Excellent. Hopefully I don't have to race down there. There's another lever right there. It scared me, whatever that noise was. Oh, Diggs is running around down there. I don't think she can run and jump that far. I think that might just just be out of reach for her. Yeah, yeah, it might just be out of reach. It is. <laughs> Might have to deal with this digs problem, though. Back for revenge. All right, I'm going to have to go somewhere. I, sh I should probably have not dropped down to fight the bear. Ah! Dig snow! <laughs> probably because the... It's probably because the bear knows that there's dysentery in this water. It's just like, you may kill me, but you'll die very slow and painfully. <laughs> Yeah, he was running around a lot, wasn't he? Finding it unbearable, are we? <laughs> oh, a secret. Let's take a look. Oh, there's some kind of uh, ammunition. Is there anything else? Okay, hopefully, I was hoping there wasn't like a ceiling about to fall on top of me. All right, what what are we picking up here? We've got our pistols, we got shotgun shells, magnum clips, Uzi clips. Oh, okay. So we don't have any of those things yet, but we will get magnums apparently, so that'll be nice. 
So that'll be nice. I, I, I whenever we get the new, uh, more improved weapons, with its limited ammo. Okay. The swinging axes have stopped, and I'm assuming there's a reason for that. Yeah, that leads back into the water. This is probably for some secret that is way back there that I didn't see or pick up on. But hey, the axes have stopped. Yeah, well, we found a spot for that golden idol. Let's put that right there. There, oh, we found all the secrets. We found 13 pickups. Took us 28 minutes. Well done. Let's save the game. All right, save. Here we go. Ancient Peruvian magnums. Exactly. I hear water. A lot of that in here. Seems to be an area up there. Some areas over there. Let's go take a look over here. No, 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 no. No, I wasn't trying to run into the water. Ah! Get me out of here. Ah! No, no, no. Ah! Well, that happens. Oh, well. We'll just have to climb out of here and hope we don't get killed by something. Dogs! Okay. Are they saying Magnum like the ice cream? Anything else would be? A I think they mean like a firearm, like the the Colt Magnum or something. I don't think this is how you get out of this. This just seems incorrect. See what's up there? Yeah, I can't climb up that that way. Nope, you can climb up this way just fine. Yeah. Well, since we're gonna end up back down here probably again anyway, let's uh, let's explore the back end of this hole over here. <laughs> oh God, that scared the crap out of me! Jumped out of my chair. <laughs> that was unexpected. Uh, see, that's the thing. Back in, for some reason. Any anytime you de design an an a creature in a game that has no running sounds, whenever it appears, it's always a surprise. Deagle flavored deagles. Hey, Opie, how's it going? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, hey, they put one single little tile up there. And they were like, that's good enough. <laughs> Just that one little tile, the L or whatever. Well, I think, I think I've reached the dead end.
with not a whole lot going on back here. Ah, uh, looks like there's something up there. Let's see if I can climb up there. Yes. Let's go up here and see what's up here. Might be a, a secret or two. Ah. Bones. Cool. Got a health pack. Psyduck brand health pack. Alright, let's save the game here on this skeleton, because I, I have a bad feeling about this. There's a lot of skeletons around. It's probably a good time to save your game. Oh, wow. Is that a Velociraptor? Oh, God, it is. I forgot those were in this game. Hey, Bolo, how's it going? Apparently, I found the lost world. Let's take a Psyduck brand medic pack. Here we go. <sighs> Gotta have some of that morphine before you go into battle against the Velociraptor. I'm just going to jump backwards and shoot. I'm scared. <laughs> it was an endangered species. I know. I know. It's a super endangered species. That was my mistake. What's that on the back for thighs? I've, I don't know what that is. Looks like ammo? When did she put ammo on the back of her thighs? That's weird. Eh, whatever. It only comes out when the an guns are out. Interesting. Yeah, the direct uh, dinosaur hunter. I remember that. Sodak is doing well with his brand of medic packs. I'm just going to see what's in this little hole up here. Maybe this. Is, I think this is probably just like a I'm scared and there's a dinosaur chasing me area. Oh wow, look at that. They got like a little waterfall. Yeah. It's definitely moving. It's going somewhere. Ah. Very nice. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah, uh, time to go to that hole I found earlier. Mara? Ah! Hey, yeah, you better run. Oh god, he's coming back! Oh. That was close. <sighs> Let's save the game. <laughs> that was a lot. Uh, here we go. Can't believe they had a dinosaur chasing me. I forgot that this. I forgot that they, uh, the dinosaur part was in this game. I thought it was in three for some reason. Oh boy. Well, I can't climb on top of it. Yeah, the finds of this trip are going to be very bad, but if I find the lost ski on uh, I, of Atlantis, I think I can make up for it. 
This looks like another. It's probably a raptor hiding. This is probably where you could run to if that dinosaur was chasing you. Yeah, I think a uh, four-bore stopping rifle would come in handy, but also, if you have two pistols with unlimited ammo, you could just sit back until it's mostly lead at the, that point. A little waterfall there. Yeah. What's up here? Whole lot of nothing. Side by side animations, yeah. Ah! No! Thank you to whoever puts monsters in video games and puts no walking sounds for them. So they always sneak up on you. I'm a genius. Oh no. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you guys make a BPL Theater 3000, but the fact that you could still have the final name in the roll call be Crow should not be look overlooked. Yeah. Yeah, this game came out in 1996, October. And this was such a huge deal back then that the advertising for this was, like, way outside the scope of what this game ever was. Like, there, she was advertising, like, energy drinks and all kinds of stuff. Like, it was wild. All right, it looks like I can get back up here if I fall, so it should be all right. just want to take a look and see what's in this little section right here. Oh! Looks like a bridge. The one that's out. There we go. All right, what's up here? Looks like something on the ground. Found a gear. Machine cog, interesting. One of a couple, I believe. All right, let's fall off this carefully. There we go. Yeah, Jurassic Park was a huge deal, so I'm not surprised that they put dinosaurs in this. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Look at that temple right there. That is definitely very uh, ominous looking. The drooping faces and all that. Very cool. Well, let's go up here and see what's inside. Looks like a lot of architecture and stuff. Ah, another ancient Peruvian bathhouse. Let's take a dive. Check around here first, make sure we're not missing anything. Nope, looks like it's all clear. So weird controlling this with a keyboard. <laughs> oh, hey, look, another cog. That will definitely come in handy. I'm sure. All right. Save our game just in case.
They uh, text must survive the satellite of mid affection with the help of people friend. Deputy, Matt has guardian, goat burger. Crawl. Yeah. Hey, Rimward. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. Uh, thanks for gifting the sub to uh, Woods. I think I pronounced that correctly. This resolution, this is actually the PC version of Tomb Raider, and it's actually been uh, modified by uh, Tomb API, ATI. So the actual in-game resolution is actually of my monitor, but the cutscenes and the menu and all that, all the text and stuff has been 4.3, so it all still fits. They didn't stretch anything out, which I really do appreciate. I also went in and put a little extra modifications on the textures, like I wrote WBPL76 on the passport, put my f picture on there, just went a little extra, I put WBPL76 on the backpack, just because I can. It's a PC release, you know, you could do a lot with it, a lot of modding. There we go. Yeah, let's just dive in, a swan dive into an area we can't get out of. Ah! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just stomp around. Just knocks me right back into the water. How dare you! All right. There are dinosaurs. You did not think a T-Rex is going to attack you. You're better than that? Hey. You're right. I should have been prepared for that. I, I did play this game many years ago. I love the series. Um, but I thought, honestly, that was in Tomb Raider 3. <laughs> I forgot it was in this game. Tomb Raider 3 has, like, Area 51 in it with aliens and all kinds of stuff. It gets pretty wild. Uh, I'm just checking to see what's up here. Because I can. Oh, another cog. Excellent. We need these. Let's see what else we have. Nothing? All right, cool. Glad we swam in here. There, I better fall back. I don't want to die. Yeah, that was a good call. What's that raptor doing in here? Just hanging out, I guess. At least not a raptor with a shotgun. Oh god. Yeah, that's that, that's Tomb Raider 2. The the dinosaurs are back, and this time they're pissed. They like show a raptor with a shotgun. T Rex has got like a mounted minigun on its head. Laura Croft's got two rocket launchers. Now we check that waterfall, there's nothing there. We've been through all the sides of this area. I think we might have maybe everything we need. We'll go find out here in a moment. Hopefully we don't have to do too much backtracking, but uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good. I, I think we have to climb back up out of this whole area. And uh, maybe that's where the gears will get used. I think. If this thing will let me. Oh, there we go. From the makers of Kobo with a Shotgun comes T-Rex with a Luger. T-Rex has a very expensive taste in firearms. So this area that I thought was just a dead end turned out to be quite the adventure. We found dinosaurs, we found ancient cogs, all kinds of stuff. And we're back here at the waterfall room. All right, let's cl let's climb out of this area and see if we can make some headway here. 
Oops. There we go. There we go. Now we're climbing out. Let's make sure there's no secret little nooks to climb into. Uh, it doesn't look like there is. Very cool. We made it out. Now I just have to make sure I don't fall into the water again. Oh, that looks like a secret almost. Yeah, it does look like a secret actually. any way to get there. Maybe you have to go through this little hole over here. I'm going to save my game. This is about the time where a giant boulder or something lands on top of me. PC version allows you to save anywhere, whereas the PS1 version it was these little crystals that you found. Oh, that's locked, whatever that's supposed to be. Little checkpoints, and they were very uh, not helpful. <laughs> I remember when I played this game, uh, I think it came with the PlayStation. This was actually, by the time I got a PlayStation, this was actually an older game. So I think I got a PlayStation in like 1999. It was on sale. Ah! No, 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 no. Nope, I gotta climb. All Actually, no, I don't. Time to test load game out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There was no mistake. I didn't miss. Alright, I'm gonna jump this way. So I'll hit the ceiling again. bounce right back into the water. That would be a shame. Again, no, 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 no! I went so close! Save closer. Yeah, you're right. I should be saving a lot closer than that. <laughs> yeah, they, the save the save game man or the uh, cheat code manual that told you how to look at the busts from like a certain camera angle. Yeah. Ah, oh, the nineties. <laughs> Trying not to land in the water. I grabbed the ledge! It was a different time. I was there. <laughs> it was a much different time. Yeah, memory cards were the were the real bane of existence for people back then cuz honestly, it should have came with the computer or with your with your console, all that should have just came with it, but they didn't. And I remember I didn't have a memory card for the longest time because they were like 20, 30 bucks, which, you know, was a lot of money for me to have as a kid. So, I didn't have one for a very long time. I just had to play through the game, get to a point and realize I I either turn the game off, which by the way, uh there is no turning the game off. Or, or sorry, you can't keep the game going. The, s the disc would eventually just stop and then you couldn't keep playing. At least it never did for me. It would always glitch out. All right. I see where we put the gears now. We have three gears. I think that's how many that go here.
the ancient Peruvian cods. Yeah, and PlayStations didn't have active cooling in it, so <laughs> these things got hot pretty quick. But this is my first time playing it on PC. It's kind of wild to seeing it in this resolution. Yeah. And it stopped the water. Now the water does not flow that way. Man, that's a very busy looking waterfall. Let's go take a look, actually. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a secret over here, I can tell. Look at those water textures, man. 1996. Oh, hey, a Psyduck brand Mega Health Pack. There we go. Totally was a secret back there. Well, now that the water's not pushing me around, I can actually take a look around and uh, maybe find out uh, if there are any little secrets down here. Doesn't appear to be. I will have to dive down there. It looks. Oh, hey, what's this? I think that's a shotgun. It is. Nice. And it's on my back. I got a shotgun. Let's save the game. I think that's a save game moment right there. I like how the WBPL 76 is backwards for some reason. Probably just a texture issue. Oof. I did the most basic of modding. <laughs> so, can only do so much. But I do remember there being a secret back that way. Guess I'll have to go and look at it. If it's possible. I think it is. Hottie with a shotty. <laughs> Hell yeah. The shotgun is very nice. Comes in handy whenever you have to deal with things like, I don't know, dinosaurs. Too bad I didn't have it earlier. So I'm just going to go this way. And I'm going to look down and see what we got. Oh, man. All right, let's... I want to make a separate save. We're going to call this the exploration save. We're going to see what's what's hiding over here. Ow. That looked like it hurt. Uh, let's see. Hop over there. Hop over here. Hop over there. I'm at the point now where I don't think any of this jumping really matters because I think I could just climb out of that uh, riverbed down there if I needed to. But yeah, there's like a little secret up here actually. Which is why I wanted to come over here, but it doesn't seem to be a way to get up there that I can tell. Anything hiding down there? Doesn't appear to be. Take a look at the uh, yeah, the water's kind of stopped flowing down there. Hey, Lord Grimos, how's it going? Okay, that's that's a door I can't open. It looks like. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to jump over there. Oh, for the best. Nope, I don't have that kind of hop. It was worth a shot, though. 
I'll check this this uh, river bed out for any sort of levers or something to kind of help us out here. I don't think there is, though. Oh, hey, what's this over here? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. Whatever secret's up there is just going to have to remain a secret forever, because I have no idea. Let's go down into the water and continue our adventure. What's that? Oh, just a dip in the floor. Another one right there. Oh, Night Owl, thanks for uh, giving us up to uh, Wolf Jaeger. Anything hiding out down here? Nope. Let's get out of this. Oh, it was a secret. A secret digs. Shotgun ammo, which will come in handy. Psyduck brand health pack. Another fine addition to my collection. There we go. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, this was the secret we saw earlier. With absolutely nothing here. Not bad. <laughs> nice. Check and see what's back over here. Oh yeah, this leads back to that bridge, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, we activated the bridge, which in turn made this door open. Doesn't seem to be good anything this way. This leads right back up to those cogs. Yeah, it appears whatever secret is supposed to be over here, I think that was it. Although, I don't really feel like that was much of a secret, because I think I would have just went this way. But I'll take it. I'm going to check that dip in the floor out. No, nothing special. All right. No, just a giant, giant hole in the floor. back where we started, but I don't... Oh, you know what? The waterfall's off. There's got to be a secret behind the waterfall, right? It's one of those games. Let's go find out. <laughs> Just trying not to fall into my death here. There we go. Now the waterfall's been turned off. There totally is a secret back there. Look at that. Nice. All right, we're saving our game. This is ominous.
We did it. We found two of five secrets. Wow. It's a lot of secrets. Lost Valley. Man. And the game crashed. <laughs> I can't expect it to run all the time, I suppose. Let me just reload it. It's a good thing I saved it right before I went down there, huh? And it crashed again. Well, it looks like that might actually be the end of it for tonight. <laughs> it just, I don't think there's any way past that. Yep, it just crashes every single time. That's weird. Let me try uh, doing something here. I might be able to fix it. Uh, I'm going to try uh, turning some stuff off. I'm just going to delete this. All right, so let me try loading it now. See if that did anything. Oh yeah. I just had to turn off uh, something that I was using for recording. So I'm just gonna save it on there. And I'll reload you guys back into the game. All right, cool. That would have been a that would have been a bummer. Uh, let's see if it works now. No. <laughs> that's, that's a big fat no. <laughs> but that's okay. I now know how to fix it. And let me fix that. There we go. Sweet. Bring you guys back over. All right, we're inside the lost tomb, the lost city of Vilcabamba. Well, the tomb, I should say, Qualipec. This is the this is where Qualipec's tomb is. There's a wild turkey on our left. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Well, we're not getting out that way. It's a boulder. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Well, there's our prize. Right in there. Any more boulders hiding up there? Still trying to kill people. What a good boulder. You're right, Digital Serenity. Can't open the wild turkey doors. There's definitely a door there because she's not stopping. Oh, there's a lever right here. Why are there dinosaurs in here? <laughs> okay. <sighs> I was not expecting Qualipec to be hiding dinosaurs up into his business. Okay, so... That's actually the button she pressed in the beginning. There's another wild turkey. Let's find out. That looks like a block or something that I can move. Not that. This right here, actually. Let's find out if that's the case. Oh, yeah. <coughs> We're going to be moving this block out of the way.
Imagine getting trapped for a uh, thousand years and all, uh, but the only purpose is to kill the first person you see and you miss. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I see. There's another block there. That would be terrible. Hey, man, at least they keep these hallways all looped up because there's no way you could push a perfectly uh, square stone through here without some resistance. All right, there's a lever there. But the floor looks like it can collapse, so I'm going to have to say This place has already been trying to kill us. Let's not give it any more chances. All right, the first of three doors are open. What was down there, out of curiosity? Oh, spikes. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to kill Laura in this series. Oh, change my controls. Let me fix that. Here we go. Don't want her to jump and pull her guns out. It's going to be hard to climb with the uh, firearms in your hands. Well, that's the first. That was that door. Let's go through this one. I'm just checking, making sure there's nothing going to jump scare me. look like it. Looks like it's pretty pretty clear. We better test fire just to be sure. There we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. That wouldn't let me press the lever no matter how much I... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm out. I'm out. See you later. use a Psyduck brand health pack at this point. There we go. Puppers. Yeah, she was more of a cat person back in the day. Yeah, that's true. It's a stand your ground temple. <laughs> wow. That was a very cool trick, Laura. I don't know why you jumped like that, but hey, I'm not going to stop you, apparently. Nothing down there but this b bones. Let's give this let's give this block a push. There we go. Push that right out of the way. Oh, thank goodness there wasn't any spikes right there. That would have been the perfect place to put them. We're not playing Tomb Raider 3 yet. <laughs> that game is very unforgiving. Tomb Raider 4 is pretty hardcore as well. I I personally love Tomb Raider 2. It's just like one of my favorites. I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays on a PC. <laughs> Now, uh, there is a uh, version of this called Open Lara, which I might actually run next time, uh, which is using uh, RTX something or other. There's some kind of NVIDIA thing that was released a while back where it uses some sort of RTX conversion AI thing where it upscales and adds all kinds of stuff for modders. And uh, there's, a, there's an Open Lara uh, program that people have made for this which adds all kinds of cool stuff like RTX lighting. It's still polygonal. It's not like they added like something extra wild to it. It's just lighting. Could be fun. All right, we got one more left. It looks like the wild turkey. Oh, you got puppers? What kind of puppers you got there, Grimos? Uh-oh. Okay, thank goodness it's just... Whoa! Whoa! Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks like a bad time. Well, you know what? 
Bad time means save time to me. We'll save it on slot two. Let's see what happens when we fall down there. Nothing. Although I like that ceiling. That's cool. I'm just checking to see what's through this little corridor here, just in case. I'm not going to pull that lever, because I'm fairly certain when I do, it's just going to bring spikes into the room. Just a wild guess there. But I might not have much of a choice, because I'm going to have to get up there somehow. Yeah, this looks like a whole lot of trouble. Actually, maybe I don't. What's up here? Isn't that the point? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I'll tell you this much. Uh, in Tomb Raider, if you walk, like her walk cycle, if you walk through the spikes, you don't take damage. If you run through them, you get you take damage or die, um, which is kind of neat. All right. That could have led to my death, but it didn't. That should have led to my death. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's put a health back in. Oh, yeah, water break? <sighs> hey, thanks, Rimward. Oh. Nice tea. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We did a little bit of that, whatever that means. <laughs> let's see, yeah, let's... I think I could jump that from here. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to need to get over there means I'm probably going to have to pull this lever over here, which I'm not looking forward to. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, that just moved the... Okay, that made it a little easier. Thank you. Oh, now she's showing off. All right, uh, we're gonna fall down here. There we go. Now we just have to cross over this giant pit of whatever. And hopefully, if I do this right, there's a lot of angled jumping. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right, let's, uh, whoa, what is that? Somebody, uh, some mummified remains just laying right up in here. They must have forgot it. All right, that's all three doors. I don't like that there are gaps, uh, big giant holes in the ceiling up there. I'm assuming there's going to be more boulders, which I am not looking forward to. Ow. Is there anything in the spikes? No? Okay. Just checking. You never know. Yeah, creepy Peruvian mummy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah, she could show off anytime she wants. <laughs> ah! It's a good thing she's strapped when she goes into these tombs, I'll tell you what. This looks like a good time to save. <laughs> <laughs> Corner rafters, I know. All right, we're just going to run right through it and hope that none of these lead to my death. There we go. All that just to come to this very cool little courtyard. Hey, look, there's the thing we came for. What's going on over here? It's a guy in a chair. There's two mummies. Nice.
Oh, shh. We need to get out of here. I'm grabbing the shotgun. What are you aiming at? She's aiming at the mummy. Well, it's not chasing me, so I'm not going to fire. Oh, can't go this way. Guess I don't have much of a choice. Well, that didn't do anything. Let's try the regular guns. Well, okay, I shot the mummy. Ah! I'm getting out of here. That that that's too much. All right, we did it. We got the uh, ski on. Ow. Ow, who's shooting it? Someone's shooting at me. <sighs> hey, bastard. Ah! We could shoot each other all day. I got Psyduck uh, brand health packs for days. I have three. <laughs> yeah. You have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad, I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natalie. Thank you. I will. What a badass. <laughs> okay. I know that this next cutscene, we're about, actually, this is about a good place to end it. This next cutscene is so awesome. I love it. This is like, not, this is not my most favorite one, but it is pretty close. This is the one the Matrix actually did a homage to. So take a look. If you've only seen the Matrix and never seen this game, this is where they got the elevator scene from. What a badass. <laughs> Apparently that's how Natla's elevators work. Relocated now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiopian, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion. The pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. You litterbug. Well, that's it. We made it all the way to St. Francis's Folly. 
here on WBPL 76. But uh, yeah, it th pretty much at this point in uh, the adventure, I found one piece of the Atlantean Skion. We shot some dinosaurs, and we found a bunch of Psyduck brand medic packs. But yeah, that is pretty much the end of uh, Tomb Raider 1 for now. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out while I played it. I'm going to actually uh, just do a quick little test here. Bring this back up. Yeah, that was a, that was a fun little adventure. Uh, I'm going to next time try to run it through Open Lara, which seems to run a little bit better than this uh, version of it because it, it uses a... I think it uses something, some kind of super special sauce or something. I don't know what they did. Uh, but I think that would be better next time. Uh, so hopefully there won't be as many crashes. Let's find out. Cause I, from what I understand, the PC version was very unstable when they first released this game. So let me see if I can bring the game back up here. Yeah. Hey, look, WBPL76, but it's backwards. That's weird. Is that a lion? Oh, God. I just wanted to look at the game. Why are there lions chasing me? Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> it's this game, man. Anyway, thanks a lot for hanging out with us here at WBPL76. Uh, I'll be back again uh, starting next week. We'll play some more of this game, and hopefully we'll, uh, I don't know, beat this St. Francis's Folly. Uh, that one's a bit bit of a level, so it should be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Stay tuned as uh, coming up next is some other stuff that uh, some fine people will be playing. I don't know. I keep forgetting who comes up after me. But they'll be coming up next. So uh, stay tuned, and thanks a lot for hanging out. Thanks a lot for your support, everybody. And uh, we'll be back again soon. Take care and uh, have a good evening. Thanks a lot for hanging out.